Recording started. We have our Fast Friday workout. We're going to start with jumping jacks. You guys already at home? On your marks. Get set. Let's start a moving. It is Friday. Another end of a week of unprecedented times, but we keep on working out. <clears throat> we will make it through this stronger than ever. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> stronger than ever or dead. Neither one or the other. Either way, we keep moving. That's all we can do. So, double jacks first thing in the morning. It's nice and easy. We're just trying to get that blood flowing. All right, get the heart rate up a few ticks. Get that breath in line. <sighs> moving around. Good, good, good. All right. It's not like our social circle of jogging first thing in the morning when it's 20 people chattering away inside this place, but... Soon enough, we'll get back to that. Soon enough. I hope. All right. Jumping jacks. We're going to go to lunge twist. That is your next exercise. You can lunge twist. You can lunge reach. You can just lunge. Whatever works for you. Just nice and easy. Got to get that range of motion going. Ah. Getting the body moving. Early morning. It's always feeling good. Adjustment of that camera, good there. All right, next up is going to be our little lateral sumo step. So it's a little wide squat. Kind of get into a little side to side. Just, there it is, yep, yeah, sumo. You all right? Yep. <laughs> Finding some sore spots? Uh oh. <laughs> it is. I'm trying to simulate our side shuffle that we normally do. So uh, just nice and easy, just kind of extend that leg out, get into a little sumo, it's a little stretch, a little sidestep, a little lateral motion. <clears throat> good stuff, good stuff, all right. All right. Got 10 more seconds of this. Nice, easy steps, side to side, and then we're going to go to our in-step stretch. All right, so that means big step forward with one hand. The opposite hand is planted on the ground for your stability. You try to get that same elbow down towards that ankle, and you get a little reach as you twist away, then you reach up nice and high and twist towards that knee that's in front. Nice extension, little extra twist, turn away, turn towards. Before you know it, you're halfway done and you're switching sides. The other foot up. Get that back leg nice and straight when you can. Try to drop the knee a little bit. Again, open up those hip flexors, hamstrings. Nice easy breathing as we work through it. Nice easy stretch. Gets a lot of things open. Five seconds. Good, good, good. Next up is going to be your inchworm, right? You start with your feet kind of stable or stationary. You walk your hands out nice and slow. Get a push up in there. Keep going a little further. How far can those hands go? Keeping your back straight. And then you push your hands back. As you do, feel a little stretch in your hamstrings. Yeah, there it is. And repeat. Go to pace that works for you. Nicely done, nicely done. A few more of these. Make 
Sure, we're breathing. Nice, steady breath. All right, we're going to stay down there and do some cross climbers. All right, so you stay on your hands and toes. Bring your knee kind of to your opposite elbow. Nice and easy. You can increase the intensity as the minute goes on. Just finding that breathing rhythm at first. Just a good little pump. Knee to opposite elbow. Nice, easy rhythm. Nice, nice, nice. That feels good. You want to increase the intensity a little bit. We've got about 20 seconds left. Almost. Five seconds, we're going to go to our squat to stand. All right. All right, squat to stand. Get low into that squat. All right, head up, chest up. Try to get our butt as low as we can. Then we stretch by holding our toes. And extending the hips up in the air for the nice hamstring stretch. Come back down. Do the reach, reach. Back down. Take your time down in that low squat. Feel that opening of the hips. Whew. Good, good, good. It feels good down there, yes. Do it. Nice. Nothing like a little squat to stand. I think one of the best stretches we do besides the instep stretch. It really opens the hip flexors up. Get the body used to having the hips well below the knees. Not easy for people. However, at one point in everybody's life, they were able to do this. <laughs> All right, squat to stand next. It's going to be in place, a little high knee kick, a couple of those, and butt kicks, a couple of those. Now we're getting the heart rate back up again, so it feels good. High knees and then butt kicks. I'll say about 10 of each, just back and forth. Nice, nice, nice. Stand on those toes as you can. All right. Good work, guys. Good work. Getting that heart rate up, getting the motion going, loosening up all those joints. We've got a good one for you today. Nice, typical fast Friday. Four rounds. Each round a different middle exercise. We've got 10 seconds left of this. Gonna increase our reps 10, 20 to 30 reps, but that fourth round we go down to 10 reps. All right, we want our chest to knee, knee to chest. So that heel is down, that toe is up. That leg stays straight. Again, another stretch of those hamstrings. I think we're needing those hamstrings stretched out after Wednesdays. Bring that knee up to that chest, get that nice hug. All right. Hope everyone out there is drinking plenty of water. These times require us to have all of our natural things in line. Proper diet, proper sleep, proper hydration. So let me be the one to remind you to make sure you're drinking plenty of water these days. All right, last exercise on that list, a little jack in the box. All right, so just find your rhythm. Don't go crazy here. I know we did these... The other day, we're just trying to continue to get that heart rate up. Now that the hamstrings and hip flexors are open a little bit, we can get that nice range of motion. As we drop down, a little tap of the toes, a little tap of the hands. Whew. All right. Feeling good, feeling good. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right, so I hope all of you have some kind of step to work up on as we're doing leg drives, box jumps, lateral and straight box jumps. Uh, some kind of a hurdle would be good or imaginary line to jump over. 10 seconds. And we're almost done with our 
Post your squat jumps, some kind of a weight, and the right attitude, because we are going after it today. Fantastic. All right. Turn our clock off. We are all set with our timer, all right? And again, real quick, we're going to do an exercise under the A column, push-up walk-ups. Each motion counts as a rep. So we do five walk-ups, five push-ups, then you go and do your burpees, six burpees, and then you go to your gallops and do your ten gallops. Then we go to our next line, all right? We got our weight, we do our half moons. Again, those are 10 reps, six burpees. Do our leg drives on the box, 10 of those, five on each side. And then out to your third line, so on and so forth, all right? 10 reps of round one, six burpees in the middle. We go to 20 reps in round two with squat 180s in the middle. 30 reps, the big round with lunges. And then we go back down to 10 reps, but we're going to do three bunnies after the A, three bunnies after the B. Woo! That should be a good one. That should be a good one. All right. How are we doing, Cherry? Feeling good? Feeling yeah. ready? All right. Let's see. At home, how are we doing? You guys ready for a little fun? All right. Henry looks ready. Lisa looks ready. Erica just getting all set up. She's about ready. All right. At home later on watching this, you can always pause if you're not ready. <laughs> All righty. So, nice deep breath. We are going to start with our push-up, walk-ups. On your marks. Get set. Here we go. Let's do it. Push-up, one. Walk-up is two. We're going to get up to ten. So only five push-ups, five walk-ups. Round one isn't too bad. Outside exercises go by kind of quick. And the burpees will definitely get those heart rates up. You can do the full-on burpee. You can do the burp without the push-up because we're doing lots of push-ups to begin with. So whatever works for you, we're up to our burpees times six. You can do the full-on push-up. You can do the modified version as you peel yourself off, going all the way down to the ground, or the burp, which is just the feet kick out, feet kick back in. Don't even do the push-up. It's up to you. Whatever works for you. We got a good long workout, so we want to find that pace that works for you. But just six, and then we'll go to our gallops. Hurdle gallops, ten gallops. So you get your little hurdle, imaginary line. We're going up, on, and over ten times, right? Where our reps are ten. Good, good, good. Now we're on to our second line. We've got our half moons, so gravel weight works comfortable for you. we got ten of them. Keep those feet close together. Arms as long as you can. <laughs> and 10 reps. Up and over. <clears throat> All right. So, again, find your pace that works for you. It is a rep workout, so everyone's going to be kind of going at a different pace. But just keep moving. Just keep moving. 10 reps of your half moons. <clears throat> then we go to our middle. That's burpees. We got six of them again. Find that pace. All right, that's good. Good at home, good, good, good. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Just find that rhythm on your burpee that works for you. Nice job, nice job. We got six of them only, six of them only. Good work, good work, good work. Let's finish with your six burpees. Next up is your leg drive. So it's only 10, it's only five aside. If you're in a basement, don't jump too high. Don't want to hit that head on anything. But here we got plenty of room. All right. If you've got no steps, you can just do a reverse lunge leg drive and just drive that knee up. Try to get some height for yourself. But again, don't hit your head on anything. Don't want anyone passing out on home. Five on each side. Do your leg drives. All right, next line is that alternating knee hug press, right? So you bring one knee in as you press. You can do this with a weight, without a weight. It's only 10, so weight should be good as you bring one knee in at a time. That's it, that's it. Nice job, nice job, guys, nice job. Control it. You can keep your shoulders where they're at. You can go drop your shoulders down to the ground and bring your knee up. Whatever works for you. Whatever works. Good job. Good job. Good job. Ten of those. Alternate knee hug presses. Then we go to our burpees again. Six burpees. Here we go. Nice 
Nice job. Nice job. Six burpees. We'll then move on to our crossover over our hurdles. Whew. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Next up is your crossover. All right. So outside leg goes over first. Find that rhythm. It's only 10. It's only 10. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Woo, shaking it out, shaking it out. All right, if you have something a little heavy, we're doing a row. We're trying to do a split stance style. So you got one foot out in front. All right, one toe out and back, keeping that balance. Nice and strong, shoulders dip, leaning forward. Good, five on one side, five on the other. Get that good, strong grip, all right? Usually we're pretty strong when we do these, so... Keep that elbow nice and tight. Get a nice range of motion with that one. Get a dumbbell. You can off-center your grip a little bit to get the balance a little more difficult as you need to. But we got five on each side. Burpees. We're back to burpees again. Man, these go by quick. Yeah. Here we go. The only six, though. Only six. Pop them out. Pop them out. Again, do the pace that works for you. Push up, no push up. All the way to the ground. Peel yourself off. Whatever works. Six of them. Nice job, nice job. Keep that breathing up, nice steady pace. All right. Next will be our two foot lateral jumps. You got a set of steps, so stairs, that's what we're looking to jump on. Nice soft landing, we do five facing one way, five facing the other. If you've got a hurdle you wanna just do over your hurdle, you can do that, or imaginary line. Or nothing, just jump side to side. That fight's fine as well. We're doing 10 of them, five each direction. Nice work, nice work. We're working that nice soft landing, side to side. All right. After your lateral box jumps is our slasher to halo. All right, again, the closer the feet are, the more the core's gonna work. We start from one hip, we slash across that body, up, around, trying to get it close to the back of your neck. Elbows up nice and high. Good job, good job. Keeping that core tight. It is a core exercise when done properly. Whew. Find that breathing. Good work, good work. Ten of these, and then we're back to burpees again. Here we go. Whew. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right, we're finding our rhythm now, finding our pace. Good, 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 good. Keeping the breathing, keeping that rhythm. Nice job, nice job. When you finish with your burpees, next up is gonna be the switch. We're trying to do the switch over the hurdle, but you can do these on the steps as needed. Whatever works for you. The switch on the steps, the leg on the box is the one doing all the work. We're driving that leg up. And we switch up midair. Nice soft landings. Only 10. It's only 10. Switches over the hurdles. May take a few extra seconds. So make sure everyone's with us. All right. And then we grab our weight again. We get our kneeling slasher. That's knee out in the ground. One foot's out in front. And we go from that hip to the side, from the knee side that's down, to our opposite shoulder and back down. Nice, Get that big range of motion, yeah, yeah. All right, well done, well done. All right, kneeling slashes, five on each side, nice and easy. This kind of a bonus warm up round for our outside exercises, but those burpees will definitely get the cardio portion of the workout going. And we are on our last set of burpees. Happy, happy, joy, joy. All right. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh, boy. All right. Well, out of the fryer into the frying pan. We got box squad jumps to finish off round one. Here we go. It's only 10, though. 
Hop right through them, right? Get that nice squat in with that head up, chest up. If you don't have boxes at home, this is when we're doing our jack-in-the-box squats instead. All right, we did these in the warm-up, so you know what those are like. But if you got a set of steps, then let's get on it. Nice work, nice work, nice work. All right. Well, that is your round one. All right. Grab a drink as needed. Do what you feel you need to do to get yourself out of the round one mentality and into round two mentality. All right. Round two, we've got 20 reps under our A and under our B. I thought we got a little squat 180 in the middle to kind of shake things up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Should be getting the heart rate up on this workout. All right. Let's see. How we doing at home? We're looking good. Erica's ready. Lisa's ready. Henry's at his pace. He's going to be there soon. But we got our push-up walk-up for round two. Ten walk-ups, ten push-ups. When you are ready. Settle that breath in. Nice deep breath. Right? This motion is a little bit slower, but the heart rate is still... Pumping for this one. So again, find that rhythm, find that pace. You need to drop to the knees for the push-ups. That is totally fine. You need to drop to the knees for the walk-ups. That's fine as well. All right, we're looking to keep our nice long spine, keep our glutes nice and strong. Make sure the elbows don't flare up too high. Ooh, nice job, nice job. And we got 20 reps in of our push-up walk-ups are here. Go to pace that works for you at home. And then those squat 180s is just a squat 180 jump. All right. When you're ready, here we go. Squat, jump, spin. Squat, jump, spin. These are kind of fun. You're kind of, kind of different than squat jumps because you're concentrating on your spin, your rotation. They go faster for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. No, I Gallops is next. So you get your hurdle, your imaginary line, your pizza box set up in the corner. Whatever works. We're going up and over 20 times. You want to try to tap those toes on both sides. Little tap, tap, little tap, tap. Knees come up nice and high. The bottom of the foot should be going over that hurdle. And that's line one. Half moons will be next. So if you're done through the gallops, grab your weights. Nice, tall as we go up and over. 20 now of our half moons. Nice work, nice work. Nice job, guys. Whew. All right, go from a little bit of a cardio spot, and when I was slowing it down just a little bit, again, always good to get that heart rate in line. Good, nice breath. Big breath, fill those lungs up. And then feel like you're lifting with, <clears throat> with your core as you lift that weight up and over. A little, tor little torso twist. 20 of your half moons. All right, that's the A side, so that means we're in the middle again. Squat 180s, here we go. Little pop, little pop. Nice job, nice job. Good work, good work. Half, uh, what do we do? We've got leg drives. We did squat one eight, so now we're on our leg drives. All right. Now we got ten aside here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we should be able to pop that knee up. All right. We'll try to be easy on that back leg. You don't want to bounce off that back toe. You want to make sure we got a lot of that weight on that front leg. We drive that knee up. You can a little pop if you can. Again, watch out for your ceiling if you're at home. If you have no steps that work for you, reverse lunge, knee drive will do. Pretty good, just about the same. Working on that hamstring a little bit, the glutes, and the cardio because we're trying to drive up. A little calf working as well. 10 to 10, all right. Alternating knee hug press is where we're at now. So grabbing that weight, dropping the shoulders maybe a little bit. As you bring the shoulders and knees in, the weight goes out of the way, one knee at a time. We got 20 of them, 10 aside. Take that breath. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Keep that spine nice and long. Anyone who's been doing the core workouts, hopefully you're feeling the core, being getting nice and strong. 
Nice job, nice job. Keeping that spine nice and erect, nice and long. Chest is forward, core is engaged. Woo! Okay. All right. Starting to feel those. That's good. That's good. All the knee hug press. We're back to our middle. That means squat 180 time. Here we go. Try to get that head and chest up. Get the butt low. A little pop, a little twist. A little pop, a little twist. Only six. Let's go quick. Let's go quick. Crossovers are next. Getting that heart rate up again. We're doing our opposite foot. Going over. All right. Again, if you don't have a hurdle at home, then just go nice and easy, picking that outside leg up as you bring it up and over the imaginary line. A little hop step on that back foot is fine. 20 of your crossovers. Good work. Good work. Next up is your split stance row. All right, try to get that back knee as close to the ground as you can. Still keep that spine nice and long. You'll lean forward with those shoulders. Squeeze that elbow in, and we're doing 10 on each side now, 10 on each side. Good work, guys, good work, good work. Wherever you're at, you're still doing your crossovers, that's fine. If you're on squat 180s already or on the back side, that's fine as well. Again, your workout, so go at the pace that works for you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Split stance row. Ten each side. Then we're into our middle exercise again. Our squat 180s. Have fun with them. Get a little pop, a little twist. Woo! Feel like you're flying for a second. Nice job, nice job, nice job. All right. Next up is your two-foot lateral jumps. You can be on steps. Great. Stairs that are fine. You got a hurdle, you want to go over that. You got nothing. Just go jump side to side. Whatever works. We can make it work. We can definitely make it work. You got 10 facing one way, 10 facing the other. All right, all right, all right. Looking good, guys. Looking good. And we try to get those nice soft landings when you do your lateral jumps, right? Bend at the knees, bend at the waist. Use your natural shock absorbers. All right, all right. Nice job, guys. Nice job. When you're done with your lateral jumps, next up is your slasher to halo with your weight. Again, nice long spine. Big circle around the head, back to your opposite hip. Ten times each way, so 20 total. Get that little twist. Whew. If you need to make this more difficult, you can do that on one foot. To keep your balance. That makes it tricky. Whew. Keep it up. Keep it up. Here we go. Nice job. All right. 20 of your slash of the halos. All right, again, this is slowing it down a little bit, so get that breath back in motion, back in line, deep breaths, fill those lungs up. And after the slash of the halo, we're back to our squat 180 jumps. If you're there, get it done. Here you go. Nice job, nice job, nice job. All right, squat 180s then go to your switch. Do that on a box if you have it, over a hurdle, either one works. is back to our last line. We go to our kneeling slasher. Last line, round two. One knee on the ground. One foot up in front. We go from our knee side down, our opposite shoulder. That weight kind of out in front of us. A little twist as you kind of drop your shoulder a little bit. And then almost like you're throwing it over your back shoulder. 
All right, ten one way, ten the other. Good work, good work, guys, good work. Looking good, guys, looking good, looking good. All right, finishing up round two. Good pace, good pace. We're moving, we're moving. Kneeling slashers, finish up the last set of squat 180s. All right, and we go into that box squat jump. Woo. And that'll, yep. All right. Nice job, guys, nice job. Find that rhythm, find that pace. If you need to break these down into groups of fives or tens, that's fine. Just kind of go through your rhythm, go through your pace. Try to get through them. Good work, good work. Again, if you don't have steps at home, do a, a jack-in-the-box squat, just the same. Okay. Woo! All right. Nicely done, nicely done, and that is round two. Good work. All right, take a second here as you need to, catch that breath. Make sure you're feeling all right. Feeling good. Get that drink. Ooh, all right, we're getting ready for the big round, the 30 rep round, all right? A couple exercises will take a little while with that. What's in the middle? Middle is lunges, six lunges, so. It's not so bad. All right. That's why we put that on the 30 rep round. It's not so bad. All right. All right. How's everyone doing? Looking good. Lisa's always ready to go. Chopping at the bit. Eric is good. Henry, he knows where he's at. All right. We got our push-up walk-up. These take a little while, so if you're ready, let's do them. 30. That's 15 push-ups, 15 walk-ups. All right. You gotta just find your rhythm on this one, right? Do as many as you can from the toes. If you have to, drop down to the knees. When you need to, you stop for a second, take a break, shake out the arms, and get back to it. Nice job, nice job, all right. Third round, big round. All right, guys, you got this. You got this. Keep it up. Nice, nice, nice. Find that rhythm, find that pace. Good work, guys. Good work. Not much to say on these. Just powering through them. Just powering through them. All right. Nice job, nice job. Make sure we're breathing, right? Tendency is to hold the breath on push-ups and walk-ups. Try to get that breath in. Let it out, let it out. All right. Well done, well done. You finished with those push-up walk-ups. Ooh, lunges are gonna feel like a break now. Yes, they are. Regular lunges, if you're motivated to lunge jump, I'm not gonna tell you to not. <laughs> so just find what works for you, all right? The cardio portion of this workout is certainly there, so regular lunges on the 30 rep. Round is just fine. After your first set of lunges, we got gallops. All right, 30 gallops. We'll definitely get that heart rate up. Driving the knee up. A little toe touch, side to side. All right, knees are up high. Bottom of the foot goes over that hurdle. Woo. Well done, well done. All right, next up is going to be a little half moon action, 30 of those. Again, nice and long in that spine, feel like you're in a tree pose, nice and tall. Just the arms moving up and over, a little turn of the shoulders as we go to one side, a little turn of the shoulders as we go to the other. That's good. All right. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. You got this. It's Friday. End of another long week. 
Good way to start it with a strong workout. All right. Keeping track of your numbers, make sure you're counting. Ten more. I only got ten more over here. One thing I can't do for you is count at home. There we go. All right, half moons. Finish that up. Nice job, nice job. All right. Just to morph a little bit into a slash of the halo after a while. <laughs> oh, yeah, that did happen. And then it we morphed. go to. It did. It did. It happens when you get a little tired. All right, we go to our lunges. I was looking for some momentum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what the half moon is different by that is you, you keep it on your hip rather than cross, and then it's a lot more core involved. All right. Lunges in the middle. After your half moons, then we go to leg drives. On the box, if you have it. Reverse lunge, knee drive, if you don't. And again, we're not bouncing off that back foot. Going easy on that. Leg on the box is doing most of the work, or the front leg if you're doing a reverse lunge. Leg drive. Try to drive up. Nice, explosive. Ten, it's like 15 on each side. We're in a 30 round. 15 on each side. Nice work, guys. Nice work. All right. Leg drives. 15 on each side. Next up will be your alternating knee hug press. When you're ready, again, when you're ready. All right. Charging right on through. If you are good to go, grab that weight. We can do no weight option. No, going no weight here, which is always that option. One knee comes in, pressing those hands up and out of the way. Got 30 of them. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Keep that breathing nice and steady. Smooth. Full breaths in, full breaths out. Good work, good work. All right. Nice rhythm, nice pace. Try to get right on through. Right on through them. Nice job. The alternating knee hug press will move into the middle again for your lunges. So if you're ready, lunges in the middle. Six of those. Good work, guys. Good work. Everyone's got a good, strong pace going on. Nice and steady. Leg it. After your lunges, we got our crossover. Find whatever you have that works for you. It's the outside leg that goes over first. It's almost a little hop step on that back foot. A little coordination there, but it's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. After our crossover, we got our split stance row. All right. Keeping that nice, strong split stance position. The back knee is just off the ground, leaning forward with that shoulder. Nice and strong as we bring that elbow in. Like you're trying to break an egg in that armpit. But still keeping our chest forward, a little arch in the lower back. We know our core is nice and engaged. 15 aside, 15 aside. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. If you need to, you can break it up. You can do five and five or ten and five. Whatever works for you. Whatever works. Kind of keeping your technique good. Form always, first and foremost, could be good. 
All right. Split stance rows will get you into your lunges again. Six lunges. Get that breath back in line. Settle in. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Lunges, then go to your lateral jumps. On a box, over a hurdle, over an imaginary line. A little pop, nice soft landing. Again, using those knees to shock absorb. Soft landing, and then pop back up. That's it. Keep those heads up. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. What are we on? The five now. Slasher to Halo now. Halo All right. Now get that. This is kind of similar to our half moon, but the little difference is we're trying to go from the opposite hip. Get that little extra twist. All right, and bring that weight closer to the head. We're trying to get it to the back of the neck by the shoulders. All right, rotate it around. We got 30 of them, so you're in it for a long haul, but breathe through it. Keeping that core tight, feeling like you're moving with your core, moving from the core. Yeah, keep it going, keep it going. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice steady breathing. A little slower here, so the heart rate has a chance to kind of settle in a little bit, as long as you're giving it time. Give it that nice breath. And open up those lungs. Fill them with air. Let it all out. All right. Nice job. Nice job. You guys are moving. Got a good, strong pace. Good, strong pace. All right. If you're done with your slash of halos, that means you're in the middle again, doing lunges. But again, go at that pace that works for you. All right. Nice job. All right, we're done here. So we go to our lunges. Keeping that breath in line. All right. Nice job, nice job. Six lunges in the middle, then we go to our switch. Over that hurdle, on the box, over imaginary line. Whatever works for you. We've got a smaller hurdle here now. We're gonna bang through our 30s. Almost. There we go. All right. Lots of focus on these as you gotta try to leave both feet at the same time, bring those knees up and switch and then a soft landing as you land on that ground. Break them down, new 10, new 15, fives and fives, whatever works for you. It's a pretty aggressive exercise, it really does a lot on the knees. So if your knees aren't feeling good, do the alternative on the box, nice and easy. But once you're done with those switches, we're on our last line, number six, kneeling slasher. Lifting aside. Here we go. All right. Get that nice range of motion. Dip that shoulder a little bit. Get a little obliques working in there. If you get a lighter weight, you can always really extend those arms out in front of you. The longer the arms are out in front, the more the core has to work. Makes it a little more tricky. Like you got a big old ball that you're trying to hold on to in between your hands and arms. All right. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Keep on working now, keep on working. On the home stretch there, on the home stretch. 
Nice job. Healing slashers, if you got your 15 on each side in, and we move on to our last set of lunges. Yep. It's right about this time we start to realize, oh, the outside reps, we go down to 10. Oh, we gotta get through these box squat jumps first. I forgot about those. All right, then. When you are ready, find your rhythm, find your pace. Box squat jumps. Thirty of them. All right. Get that rhythm. Get that rhythm going. Break them down. Start with ten. You can get through ten and get through the fifteen. You get through that, and then just keep on moving. You're all than halfway. Here we go. Good work, good work. All right. You need that break. Stop for a second. Take a deep breath. Shake it out. Shake it out. When you're ready, right back to it. Here we go. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Way to stay with it. Way to stay with it. You got it, guys. You got it. You got it. You got it. Nice work, nice work. Oof. Fantastic, fantastic. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep that rhythm. Keep that pace. Get through them all. 30 box squat jumps is a big number. Feels good to get done with that. Round three in the books. Woo. Now we drop all those numbers. It's all about the middle exercise in this round. Woo. So you got yourself mentally around it. A couple deep breaths, a little sip of coffee or your water, whatever you need. Get that mind wrapped around the bunny round. All right. We're going to start with our push up walk up combo. So we got 10. It's only five of each. That's going to seem easy after a while, but it's all about that bunny in the middle. Let's get after it. We got our. 10 push-up walk-up, so just five of each. Nice, nice, nice. And then we're going to go into our bunnies. Just three. We're going to do three on each side. So we're going to start with three bunnies, which is your combination of a burpee. Squat 180 jump twice. Lunge jump twice. That is your bunny. Anyone out there doing the bunnies for the first time? Well, welcome to Manic. This will be a blaster. This will get the cardio going. This will get the legs going. Get the metabolism fired up. Three of the bunnies, then we go to our gallops. It's only 10 gallops. We're going up and over. A little toe tap, side to side. Nice and long on that spine. Keep the head up. Then we're back to our bunnies. Three bunnies. Here we go. Oof. All right. Little pop, little pop. Up and down. Squat, squat, lunge, lunge. Back to it. Boom. Only three, only three. We can get through three, no problem. Whew. Let's do one more on this side. Where are you at? If you're done with your second set of bunnies, that means you're on to line two, which is half moon time. Half moon time. All right. Keeping that weight kind of on your side, about your hip. Get that arch nice big up over the head. And then on to the other side. Ten of them. All right, we slowed it down a little bit. Get that breath back in line. Make sure you're breathing. Big breaths, big breaths. Good work, guys. Good work, good work. Ten half moons. Back to your buddies. Three in the middle. Here we go. All right. Again, you get the option on the bunnies to make the push-up there. Take it out if you don't want it. Whatever works for you. It's about getting that metabolism up, getting that heart rate up, kind of blasting through it. You don't want to take too, too long on these. You want to pop it up, pop it up, lunge it up, lunge it out. All right. Beautiful. Leg drives are next. Only 10 of them, five a side. So get that nice range of motion. Again, no boxes, no problem. Reverse lunge with the knee drive, just the same. Popping that knee up, driving, five on one side, five on the other.
Good, good, good. And again, after those leg drives, you go right back to your bunnies. Three bunnies. All right. Sun's starting to come out. It's going to be another beautiful day. It's going to feel good to have that workout done. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oof, three of those, good. All right, nine, three, we're on alternating knee hug press with a weight, without a weight, whatever works. We're trying to just get to it. Think about our technique. Got our spine that's nice and long. Kind of puff that chest out. Make sure our core is really engaged. Bring one knee in at a time. We got 10 of them, five for a leg. Good job, good job. And when you're done with the knee hug presses, you're right back to your burpee in the middle. Three of those. Sorry, bunny in the middle. Three of those. All right. Right to it, right to it. Here we go. Just three, just three. Nice. Good work, guys. Good work, good work. Nice, nice, nice. All right, bunnies, go to the B side. We got crossovers. Woo. Opposite leg, crossing over, over hurdle, over imaginary line. A little hop step is fine. Oh, going through these quick now. Going through these quick. It's all about that bunny. We're back to it already. Back to the bunny in the middle. Embrace the bunny. Be the bunny. Here we go. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. You got it. You got it. You got it. Right? We're on that home stretch now. We're on that home stretch. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Three lines to go. Split stance. Row is next. All right. Get that nice long spine. That knee is just off that ground. Five on one side. Five on the other. Heart rate spiked after those bunnies. Bring it back in line by slowing the breath down. Good, good job, good job. Nice focus. You got it. After your split stance rows, we're back to that middle. We got bunnies again. Here we go. Three bunnies. Nothing like powering through at the end of the workout. We're almost there. Nice, nice, nice. All right, nothing like just getting to it. Nothing like just getting it done. Woo, last one here. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we're back to our lateral box jumps. You get a box, jump on that. You get a hurdle or imaginary line, and we're just jumping side to side with that. Good focus here at the end. Let's get good focus here at the end, right? Fatigue starts to set in. We gotta make sure we're jumping up and on, whatever we're jumping on or over. Whatever we're jumping over, five one way, five the other. All right, good job, good job. Lateral box jumps, all right, on to the bunnies again. We're almost done, guys, we're almost done. Good work, guys, good work. Woo, don't worry, we'll slow it down with the next exercise with slash of the halo. So get these bunnies out of the way. Slash of the halo. Line five, two more lines, almost there, almost there. Good work, guys, good work, good work, good work. Oh, we're moving pretty quick here, so again, at your pace at home, find what works for you. Maybe you're still on crossovers, that's fine. Split stance row, that's okay. Maybe you're just starting round four. I know if I'm doing this workout, that's about where I'm at, just starting round four, and that's okay too. Wherever you're at, just keep going. Moving forward, moving forward, one step at a time. We're on our slash to the halos here. Get that nice little twist. As you bring, bring that weight down. All right, breath back in line a little bit. Reset yourself. Nice deep breath. When you're ready, three more burpees. Bunnies, excuse me, three more bunnies. All right. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's it. That's it, guys. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, yeah. I feel good when we're done here. Gonna feel good when this one is done. All 
right. We are on to switches here. But again, wherever you're at, be there. Be present. If you're on your lateral jumps, fine. Burpees, bunnies, fine. Slash of the halo. We got our switches in here. And then we are get our three more bunnies before we get to our last line. Where are you guys at? You on line five? That's fine. Get it done. You still on bunnies? Do it. Come on. Woo. All right, all right. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Take a deep breath and try to finish it up, right? There's only a few more exercises to go. We are on kneeling slashes here. Five on each side. Nice and strong. Nice long spine. Get that little twist. Just drop the shoulder. Woo. That's good, good, good. Five on each side. Where you at at home? Get those bunnies done. Get them good. Make them good. Come on. Come on, keep that head up, keep breathing. You got it, guys, you got it, you got it. All right, we are on more bunnies here. If you finish your bunnies, take your deep breath and get to your next exercise now. Come on, come on. That's good, that's good, that's good. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice job, guys, nice job, nice job. All right. We are moving here, we are cruising here. Bunnies down to our box squat jumps. Final stretch here. You guys at home, you're almost there too. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Nice job. If you're on your bunnies, get through them. We just finished up the box squat jumps and on the last set of bunnies here. Get it done, get it done. Where are you at home? Nick Slasher, do it. Bunnies, get them done. Box squat jumps, you're almost there. Last set of bunnies, come on. Last one. Nice, nice, nice. All righty. Awesome job, Sherry. Good work, good work, good work. Man, that is moving. Right on time, as I love it when a plan comes together. Nice job at home, guys. Let's finish it up. Let's get this done. There we go. Here we go. Nice job on this side. Good work, guys, at home. If you're still working, that's fantastic. Keep it up, though. Keep it up. Finish it up. Nice job.